On this week's Waypoint, a new champion is teased, we've got a new Poro-themed game mode on the way, and a feature I never knew I wanted. What's up guys and welcome to Waypoint, your weekly League of Legends recap. I'm your host, Kat Andresco. We've only had Callista for a week and Riot are already teasing the next champion to join the Rift. We don't have a name, but we do have this very cool teaser video. monstrous. It has a lot of teeth, it has some kind of electricity power, and it can burrow through the ground. It's basically a land shark. It has a fin and everything. It'll be really interesting to see how all that translates into in-game mechanics. Do we have a champion whose stealth is going underground? Even if you can see the land shark coming, you presumably won't be able to target him, right? That sounds really strong in theory especially if he can travel around the map at a decent speed. The whole concept just screams jungler, and surprisingly, it's been a really long time since we got a new jungle champion. Aatrox was the last one, and we got him in June 2013, and really, we see him in top lane most of the time. I might be counting my chickens here, but if Landshark is anything like I'm speculating, hats off to Riot. They've been doing a great job lately of releasing super unique, interesting champions. Callista with her passive and her ultimate, Nar with his crazy randomized transforming, and Azir with his bugs. Sorry, Sand Soldiers. If you haven't seen it yet, we'll put a link below, but it doesn't give much away. The next featured game mode sounds hilarious. Legend of the Poro King. Needless to say, the cute little furballs are the stars of the mode set on the Howling Abyss. It's five versus five, blind pick, and if you've ever wanted to hurl a Poro at your enemies, you're in luck. Your normal summoner spells will be replaced with Poro Toss slash Poro Dash. Poro Toss is exactly what it sounds like. It deals true damage, and casting it inside three seconds will Poro Dash you to the target and reduce the cooldown of Poro Toss. You realize what this means, right? Everyone gets Lee Sin's Q! That is going to make any kind of melee bruiser or assassin ludicrously strong. Think champions like Garen, Fizz, Wukong, or Darius. Poro Toss has a 20 second cooldown, so it isn't quite as spammable as Lee's Q, but that cooldown does go to 15 seconds if you go in. Your second summoner spell is effectively a team-wide passive. Hitting an enemy champion with a Poro will give your team a Poro mark. Once you have 10 marks, you summon Poro King, who is considerably less cute than a regular Poro. While the Poro King is active, you can use the summoner spell to dash him, just like Lee Sin's W. He blocks any Poros thrown at you, he'll heal and regen your mana, and he'll toss Poros at the enemy team. This mode sounds like way too much fun, and it's up for testing on the PBE now. We're not sure when we'll see it on the live servers, but it sounds like it's coming with this year's holiday festivities. Like all featured game modes, it'll only be available for a limited time, so definitely check it out while you can. End of game gifting is not a feature I've seen anyone ask for, ever. But now you can do it. You don't even have to be friends. You can just send a gift to any player in the game from the post-game lobby. You can send people mystery skins, mystery champions, or a skin for the champion they just played. Why, exactly? I mean, it's a nice feature, but I don't see this being used very often. I don't know. Let me know if I'm missing something here, guys. On the eSports side of things, we've got some really cool news for the next season of LCS. Up to now, teams have had coaches working with them behind the scenes, but they haven't been officially recognized by Riot. That's going to change in 2015. Riot will offer monetary support to the teams to help them pay and attract coaches. Coaches will be subject to the same behavior checks that the players are now, which means being held to the highest standard of conduct in and out of the game. Coaches will be required to attend matches in person and most importantly will be able to communicate with their team during the pick and ban phase. That's a huge deal for these teams and something that coaches have wanted for a long time. The coaches are supposed to be the brains behind the team and now they'll be able to make sure their team goes into each game with the best possible setup. Tired of your bot lane feeding and your jungler giving up double buffs? 
fancy a change of pace? Then check out World of Tanks, the ultimate armored warfare experience. With intense tank-on-tank -tank combat, an ever-evolving upgrade system, and gorgeous graphics, World of Tanks is the place to literally destroy your opposition. Best of all, it's free to play with zero barrier to entry, so there's nothing at all stopping you from checking it out. It's a really fun game with endless hours of content and easy to get into. It's unbelievably popular, so you'll never have a problem finding people to play with. If you're interested, head on over to gboffer.com tanks and check out World of Tanks today. Following that link and checking out the game is also a fantastic way to support us and keep shows like this going. Once again, to check out World of Tanks and to support this content, head on over to gboffer.com slash tanks and live out all your tank-filled fantasies. That does it for this week's episode of Waypoint. For more video game news and content, head on over to gamebreaker.tv. Be sure to check back every week for the latest League of Legends news. If you enjoyed this video, please like and comment below and help us reach more people. And if you want more League of Legends content, recaps, and updates, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Lol Nation TV. I'm Kat Andresco. You can follow me on Twitter, at Kat Andresco. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you at the next Waypoint. Game Breaker TV.